Listen, good afternoon from the Eastern time zone. I'm gonna straight freestyle this video today. Um, I came across this police shooting video of Lamont Moses in Newcastle County. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play it, give my reaction to it, break down on what happened, and um, let me know in the comment section below. Do you think that Lamont Moses was justified? Do you think the police were wrong? What were some things that Lamont could have did differently? What was something that the police officers could have did differently? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get into this video. So right now he's asleep, <clears throat> Lamont Moses. Officer taps him with his baton, wakes him up. And then Lamont wakes up startled. And then here's the interaction right here. Rolls up the window. Oh, ain't no sound. Huh? There we go. Kind of police, you sleeping in here, man. What? Make sure you're all right, man. My mom live right here. All right, I just want to say something real quick. Notice how he's being real aggressive from the start. This moment right here, when they notice, when the police are in their face, and they're questioning them, right then and there, they already deciding what they're going to do. The police officers don't know what they're going to do. They don't know they're going to run, fight back, or whatever. But Mr. Lamont Moses and many other people that were in his exact same situation, the exact moment when they're confronted by a police officer, they have already decided, I'm going to resist arrest. I'm not going to go quietly. Go ahead and Let's go ahead and continue this video. You're sleeping with the car and drive. Bro, my mom live right here. Why are you walking up like... You don't need to, to uh, huh? scream, man. We're just trying to help you out. I'm okay. My mom live right here. Cars Tries to talk his way out of it. Right There's weed all over, man. It's not working. Bro, I'm not. My car not stolen. Nobody said it was. We just said that's why they're out there. That's why we're out here. We're looking for stolen cars. All right, well, I'm just, right here. I'm gonna just pull him out real quick. No problem. Pop out for real quick, man. Just, 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 don't, don't do this. Just do it. Cooperate. Okay, just there we go. Don't worry. See, he throws his hands up. Oh, I tried to talk my way out of it. Oh, well, the, the police, they not letting it go. Well, well I'm not going to go to jail. I'm not going to do what they say. I'm going to run away. Man, just hop off. I'm do what I want to do. Okay. Do me, do me a favor. Just hop out for me. Look. Man. Mm -hmm. Starts the car up. Yo. Yo. There you go. Myself. Suspicious vehicle, Rosemont Avenue, East 27. Just give us a 10 100 for a second. Stop the fucking car! Don't fucking don't do, do it! it. Pleading with don't. him. They're pleading with him. Don't do it. Get out of the car. Surrender. That you can clearly tell that these officers don't have any or don't have any intention to shoot him unnecessarily. Do it! Do it! Do it! Doesn't matter. Shot fired. Shot fired. Stop! Stop! Shot fired. Stop! Go be on Rosemont. Go be on Rosemont. It's a dead end here. County police, don't move! Body cam on Don't move! Officer from the passenger side of the vehicle. Sleeping, we're trying to talk to you. Huh? Yeah. Yo, what's up, Corporal County Police? Huh? We saw Corporal County Police. We saw you sleeping in here, man. My mom. Okay, my mom live right here. All right, relax. relax. Make sure you're, you're all right, man. We're just talking to you. Bro, my mom live right here. Why are you walking up like? Hmm? Just, just relax. All right. I'm okay. My mom live right here. All right, well, we're just out here, man, looking for stolen cars. We see you sleeping, and you got weed sitting right there. We saw we make time to make sure you're all right. Bro, I'm not. My car not stolen. Nobody said it was. We just said that's we're out there looking. Here. That's why we're out here. We're looking for stolen cars. All right, okay. bro. I'm, my mom got, live right here. 
No problem. Okay, okay. Why? Just, just Dude, don't, don't resist. Just, just, just cooperate. Okay, this is going to be very easy. Just if cooperate. It's just, if it's just weed, we don't give a shit about weed. That's all it is. Okay, if that's all it is, that's all it is. No worries, it. man. Hop out my buddy. Dude, just relax. Whoa, don't, don't leave. Don't do it. Don't Dude, do it. don't leave it. Don't leave. Don't leave. Bad choice, man. Bad choice. Real bad choice. The back, no? That officer fires. Shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. Don't fucking do it! I guess this is the third officer that Don't was on the scene. Don't do it! Do it! Don't do it! Shout out to, just want to back it up real quick. Shout out to this officer right here for his muzzle awareness. Somebody untrained would have kept shooting and shot this officer. Trying to shoot this car. Shit. Stop! 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 I just want y'all to see what his family had to say in the interview, basically defending Lamont, resisting arrest, and taking the police on a high-speed chase. Check it out. The world needs to see this senseless murder. Murder. It's murder. <laughs> so show the world. Family members of Lamont Moses it. are calling on the Newcastle County Police to release body camera video from January 13th when county officers shot and killed the 30-year-old. That's my mom's only son, and he gone because two officers decided to take his life when there was no cause for it. Those officers were not in danger. County police say at the time of the incident, they were investigating a suspicious Those officers vehicle were not in danger Avenue going on a high-speed chase. Investigators say Moses took off down a dead-end road. This is what his, his, his family and thinks. drove at a high rate of speed towards the officers. And that's when they were forced to fire their weapons. Moses' attorney says the body cam video tells a different story. The video contradicts the police narrative that Mr. Moses was coming at them with his vehicle. What it shows is that Mr. Moses was actually veering away from the officers, simply trying to get away. The family attorney says Moses was asleep in this. He was just simply trying to get away. Why did they shoot him? He was just trying to, he was just simply trying to get away from the police. You know, it doesn't matter that he could have swerved and hit the officers in the process of trying to get away from the police but he was just simply trying to get away there was no need for the police officers to sh officers to shoot him car when two officers approached and told him they were investigating and i hope that little boy is not his son i hope that's not what they trying to show here but was we'll asleep go. in his car when two officers approached and told him they were investigating stolen vehicles he says moses told them his car was not stolen and for some reason drove away unfortunately Mr. Moses, for some reason because he has something to hide it's not here uh to give his side of the story according to the family attorney officers fired at least nine shots and four of them hit moses family members are outraged and feel releasing that dash cam footage will set the record straight. We know the video is gonna be released at some point. Uh, we don't want it released a year from now uh, when people's memories fade. Y'all let me know if I'm tripping, but whatever the lawyer, whatever this guy is saying, whatever he thinks the police officers or uh, the police department is trying to hide, they're not trying to hide anything. It doesn't take a blind man to see that Mr. Moses in this situation, he is exactly where he is today because of his bad choices. He had something to hide. I don't know, he didn't want him to run his ID. I don't know what motivated him to take off, but he made the bad decision of trying to run away from the police officers. And just like every situation like this, these suspects, these individuals, they don't wanna be held accountable for anything that they do because they never had to be held accountable in the past. You see, they got nothing but women. Whereas I guess he doesn't have any, Mr. Moses didn't have any male figures in his life. So he pretty much had predominantly women in his family or raising him, I'm sure. And he probably never had to be held accountable for nothing. Plain and simple. I want it released a year from now uh, when people's memories fade. 
And we can tell you that the Attorney General's office is now investigating this case. Both of the officers involved in this incident, they have been placed on administrative leave. But again, that body cam video has not yet been made public. That Attorney General, he knows that this case isn't going anywhere, but he has to go through certain processes to make it look like they're looking at the situation from every angle to give the family closure. But like I said, a blind man doesn't have to see that Mr. Moses, he made the decision that he made to go ahead and drive off because he didn't want to be held accountable for whatever was going on in that car. Let me know in the comment section below what y'all guys think, man. Am I tripping? Am I being uh, uh, too hard on, on Mr. Moses? You know, rest in peace to Lamont Moses, man. Uh, you know, it's never a good thing to see guys like this be killed at a young age like that but you know you got to be held accountable for your actions you play stupid games you win stupid stupid prizes like please share this video leave a comment below what you guys think um and subscribe to this channel thank you